Hello everyone, welcome back to the second episode of how to build a content management system with Filament, PHP and Laravel 10. To get started with, let's create a model for our blog posts. So this is quite standard, so we will just create a model and we will get a migration as well by using the M afterwards. So we have this model here now and let's get started with the migration file as a starter. So what do we want to display in here? So let's get started with first and foremost making sure that there is a title. We also need to have a body or content. Then for SEO purposes, we may also want a meta description, which can be nullable in the instance that the meta description has already um, has not been set. We will get a shorthand version of the content here. But if the user want to specify the meta description, that should be available. We also require the ability to check if this is featured. By default, it should be false. We also want to make sure we can check if this is published. And then lastly, we also need to add in the soft deletes because we may want to be able to delete an article, but not delete it fully from the record. And then outside of that, we also want to have something that's related to a user. So we can say table for an ID, user ID, constraint, and then cascade on delete. So to get started with, this is a good start. While we could use a thumbnail using the default um, image here, we can also actually use Spatty Media Package to do that. And while this only needs one image uploaded, I think that's a great way to show how to use filament free plugins. Um, so let's get started with just this as a starter. So we can just go up and create a migrated here. Now that this is migrated, let's go in and create a PHP artisan make filament resource called post. So what that will do is inside um, filament, you have a post resource. So in here we can super easily create a blog post. So we can do this by saying text column make title. No, sorry, not text column, sorry, text input. Required. And um, let's say a minimum length of two. I also forgot we actually also want to add in as slug here for this. So let's just um, get that sorted as well. So to fix this, we can just say PHP artisan migrate well back and then just migrate it. There we go. So we will come to the slug input field um, later on where we will actually implement the functionality using custom fields. We will create our own slug field. But for now, let's just get started with creating all the fields here and being able to store it in the database and worry about the specifics afterwards. So we can just say forms components, text input, make slug and then say required 
and let's say minimum length 2 as well. And then outside of that, we also need to have the content and the meta description and its features and to do the content we can actually just go in and say which editor make content and then required. And this will allow us to then essentially have a text editor in here. So while this is not everything yet, let's go into the posts here. Let's click new post. As you can see, we have actually got the opportunity now to write in here. So we could make it italic. We can do all these things here basically. Let's now go in and add the meta description. And here we have the meta description. Outside of that, we just need to have something that shows if it's published or not. And then we can just say checkbooks. Make is publish. There you go. So Filament has now automatically generated all of these fields for us here. We will come to custom layouts and being able to make this look a bit more neatly later on. And before we can even start to use this, there's one more thing we need to do. So we need to ensure that we actually fill out this fillable field. So we need to put in title, slug, content is publish and we also need to put in meta description and now if we go in and say test 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 and also say is publish here <coughs> We also want to set up the relationships here. The public function user belongs to. Return this. And a user can have many posts. And we're also getting an issue here, so not null. We also need to put in the use ID, of course. So before we continue, let's get that sorted. And we now, in order to store the use ID, we can essentially create a hidden field. There is other ways to do it. But for now, this will be sufficient. We can tidy this up later. For now, the goal is just really to be able to create um, a post. And then later on, we will learn how to attach images to it as well. And 
in here we can actually define what is shown at the table. So when we have created this record in here, let's just call this my first blog post. And let's click create. You'll notice if we go in here, this is empty. Now that's because Filament want you to specify what you actually show. So we can create a text column here and call that title. So now you can see we actually displayed a title, but we may also want to show if it's published, for example. So we could go in and say tables columns, checkbox column. And maybe we also want to show if it's um, what slot it has. So let's go in and see what we have now. So you can go in and see, and we can actually just click on this and it will automatically change. You can click edit and we can just call this test instead maybe. And we can go back and you can see it works. So this actually has everything you need really in terms of being able to view and edit records for your application. We can also change the icon here. And it's also a possibility to, for example, go in and create all sort of actions here. So we could, for example, go in and say, um, we could go in and actually add a soft delete as well. We also, in that case, would actually have to go in and specify use soft deletes. So because we specified soft deletes here, it should all just work fine when we refresh. And now you can see we get this icon up here where we can actually modify if this delete or not.